all you awesome faces, welcome to another episode on the Mindful Server. We are over at the Smexy Circle again. I was looking at all of everything. It's starting to come together, you know. But this big center area looks empty, and I feel like the animals deserve... Uh, at least a better living situation. <laughs> so, that is going to be our goal today. Also, I want to show off something, just more so for the server members. We have a new item. That is the honeycomb. Just plain old raw honeycomb. I realized after a special order from Ethix McSlimy Face, these are actually really useful because you use these to make copper not be a jerk. <laughs> so I figured might as well sell them. Two diamonds a stack. I feel like it's fair unless I get in a lot of complaints. Let me see if I have anything. No, ooh, I gotta refill on that. Um, but yeah, let's see if there's any special orders. I think that's, yeah, it's just ethics. Okay, we're good here. All right, on to the show, I guess. Mindful SMP is sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. Use the code mindful at checkout to get 20% off your first month. As far as our build today, I am going to go with more of like a traditional farm or barn shape. And that's where we're going to have our animals you can use for food slash, you know, whatever uses. So we'll have one quarter for cows, one quarter for sheep, one quarter for bunnies, and then a quarter for piggies. I think that seems fair. And when it comes to getting horses and stuff, that's, I feel like that's going to be later down the road because I want to get this all more, I don't know, just sorted. <laughs> more livable over here. Horses, will, they'll get a stable, but I just want this whole place to look more completed. We will be getting back to this spot over here at some point. Uh, I do have an idea of what I want to build on top of this area, but I don't know how I want to do it. I'd like to play a, a little bit with these blocks here, the deep slate, or yeah, just deep slate in general. I just think it'd be fun to make it more of like a dark, spooky looking barn that you go inside and it's like just cows and stuff, you know? Super cute. And what else have we got that we could use? Ooh, do we have cow heads? That would be depressing. We have a sheep head. Thought I had a cow head somewhere. Meh. Well managed. And I might throw in some dark oak. Where did I put it? Is that the only one I don't have in here yet? I think it is. <laughs> I don't know, I'll put some sort of wood in there. Probably spruce, actually. Right now, I have it at the point where I have it at the size I want, which is pretty big. Here's the size. Actually, it's a little smaller than the beehive thing, but it's still pretty big. Um, but yeah, I have it split into the four areas. All of them are even. I have counted, and I'm going to count again, just in case. Then I'm going to just uh, wall the rooms off, and the sheep, I'm going to try to organize a little bit better than they are now. The walls are coming along. By walls, I mean one <laughs> but yeah this is i think i'm going to stick this pattern i really like it um mostly because my favorite block of the deep slate is on here and it's the most in your face which i'm okay with that's the deep slate tiles i don't know why i'm so drawn to it i think it's because it looks like dragon scales or something it's kind of a weird thing to use for a barn because most barns are like brick or whatever but you know what why can't i have a goth barn huh who said there's a rule about that so i'll just continue all the walls and then scratch my head about a roof. I'm debating what I want to use for here. I just know I want it to be a different block than these. Something that maybe sticks out a little bit more? I don't know. I'll figure it out. You'll see I've got all of these lined out. The three gap in the... B b b b b b just like this. <laughs> my stutter is just out of this world lately. But yeah, every... there's a go This is going to be open completely open, so I have to be very, very careful how I torch it in here. All the walls have been completed. It may be a little ugly on the inside right now, but I finally came up with what I want to do for the roof, as well as the little trim bits, because it's kind of like shoes and purses. You gotta make a match, right? Phew. I forgot about a shop that was just added. Ignore my inventory. All right, let's go spend some diamonds I don't have. All the way here on the other end of N Noiseville freaking thing. Shush. <laughs> we have Madam's Lumber Shop, which provides us with beautiful lumber. Oh yeah, this sort of color might look cool with like on black. Kind of, if you match it up like that, that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, we're doing mangrove. Let me get two more diamonds so I get two stacks. I am sold. Thank you, Madam, for your shop. Now the question is, do I want just a naked log or like planks? What do I want now? 
And now I want to throw stairs in there. I want to make it a little interesting. Yeah, those colors kind of go together. The colors go. I think the pattern's a little weird for me. Let's see about a little naked log action. I don't know if I like either of these. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Try some stairs. Maybe that'll help. Okay, this is a little bit better right here. It, it breaks up the ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry, blocks. I love you, but just not right here. <laughs> this is not your place. By some magic, I had exactly the right amount of stairs made. <laughs> Didn't waste any of those. Right, let's get rid of the... I almost like it with the brown, actually. Well, darn. I think I might leave it with the brown. Great, I have to go to every single one again and fix it. I'll make every little uppy corner like this. Middle chunks like this. And somehow again, I had exactly enough, I think. I had enough there, had enough there, had enough there, and had enough there. I'm leaving the top little bits there open because I'm gonna put something shiny there, I think. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the roof! Madam, prepare to be rich. For that dumb roof, I'm gonna need a lot of these. So one diamond for 64. Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five. Thank you for your shop once again, madam. Now for the challenge of making a roof that's not a triangle like that one. And more like, barns, I, they tend to do like a big swoop thing. So they go like up and then swoop, swoop down. So I'm going to attempt that look. Or no, it's not like a swoop, swoop down. It's more like a big U. Try like a weird big U shape. I, mm, I don't know how I'm going to do, <laughs> but we'll see. It's all going to be out of dark oak and we're going to hope for the absolute best. If you haven't noticed yet, I'm using a, a, uh, unenchanted iron sword here and I have only my booty covers. That's because I died pretty badly a couple, or no, one or two episodes ago. Um, I think one episode ago. I was with a madam and Lautner and we were battling a monument underwater. But my stuff is here. I'm just working on getting the enchants set. Uh, the sword is almost back to where it was. The rest, not so much. And I didn't realize I still had my pants. So, uh, yay, spare pants. But yeah, I'm just, that's going to be a... Thing I finish up off camera on my own. I got it to the height I want, but I think the shape is a little off. I think that if I just take one block from each side there, I think that should make it look right. The outside is complete and I think I might have nailed it on the shape of the roof. And I'm very happy for myself. <laughs> uh, the only problem is that the roof looks a little thin, but I think it's just because the building is so gigantic. <laughs> So now is the fun part of learning how to type and getting inside here. And and getting this all organized. So this, the plan is to have this center, like all the centers where it meets up, all that'll be a just a path. And yeah, we need to put these guys in their own cages. It's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> the cows I'm more worried about than the... Or no, I should be worried about the sheep. Yeah, the sheep are going to be a nightmare. Whatever, somebody's going to be a nightmare. Oh, I missed a section. Okay, I'm not totally done with this, but when we get back in a second, I will be. The inside is completely built, guys. And we have a little visitor, Mr. Trader Man. We are in the bunny cage here. And he has something pretty fun because it's close to Christmas. He has presents. I have only one emerald, which means I have to pick my favorite color, which is cyan. And seeing as I'm impatient, can you open these? Oh, you just it's still cute. You can just place it down. It's like a head. That's cute. Anyways, this guy could live out his days here until he goes poof, and then we could have free llamas. And Mr. Bunny, you're allowed to hop. There you go, dude. But yeah, we are done in here. This will stay here because I need to get silk touch. This over on this side is the future Piggly Wiggly cage. Of course, the obvious. This is sheep. This is cows. And it was an interesting thing to get them in there. <laughs> As you can see, I need to pink up this one bit here and get rid of the bit in the middle. But everything is literally as done as we will get. And I am loving it. So, yeah, at this rate, guys, I love your faces very, very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one when this is all patched up.